Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today at GDC, Microsoft announced the future of DirectX 12, and the future looks a whole lot like the past. And what they're doing is implementing ray tracing. And this is actually kind of funny, because this is how 3D is done. Um, ray tracing is probably the primary mechanism used for rendering non-real-time 3D. So basically, when you see a cutscene or a 3D movie, it was generated using ray tracing. Now, obviously, you can't do that in real time, and thus we've come up with algorithms that make it so, you know, we can simulate the end results that you get from ray tracing, but you can't really use the mechanism behind ray tracing because it's just too computer intensive. Basically, the way ray tracing works is it bounces a whole lot of lights through the scene. This is a very, very simplified version of describing it, but basically lights bounce around the world, they hit different surfaces, they bounce off of those surfaces, and eventually they hit the viewer or the camera in the viewport. And that is what determines you know, what is drawn. It's a very intensive model, but it also gives very, very realistic results. So when you're in max Maya, Blender, Arnold, various different other renderers, and you do a, a render, it can take several minutes, hours, days to, to actually calculate everything. So this is not ideal for real-time work. Well, that's what Microsoft's trying to fix here. They're actually trying to make it so uh, we can do ray tracing for our games, get that real world, 100% reality kind of look, um, but do it in a way, obviously, that can be done at a reasonable frame rate. And then on top of that, what they're doing is implementing a fallback so that if the hardware doesn't support it, then it will be rendered using your traditional device. And that's kind of a key point in this. Now, Microsoft's blog, which I will link down below, goes into a whole lot of detail about how it's going to work. But basically, with the, the advance we've had in GPUs, a lot of the parallel programming going on with GPUs, real-time ray tracing is getting a little bit more feasible, and they're trying to make it uh, you know, one step further. And here's a sample scene. I'll show you a video in a second that shows you what they see ray tracing could potentially look like in the future. Um, but this is going to be a hardware and software thing. I'm trying to get to the part of the graphic. I swear it was on here. Um, all right, is it somewhere else? Okay, so maybe it's not right here. So basically, the next generation of AMD and NVIDIA are going to have dedicated hardware to speed this up. But the current generation is basically going to be a software-driven implementation. And they've actually already got one today. I downloaded it. It's available here. Um, it's linked from this article at the very end. So if you want to grab it, it's there. But it's basically a real rough cut of the SDK. And if you go ahead and download it, this is what you get. So this is the SDK. Um, you got a couple of binaries for the most part, but really what you're in here for is the samples project file. Um, and I fired a couple of these up. Um, the first one I did was the hello world example. And one word of warning, if you are gonna go ahead and download and play with this stuff, when you if you have an Optimus machine, so you've got an Intel card and a um, dedicated GPU, make sure you launch Visual Studio to run using your dedicated GPU or this example will throw up. But go ahead and run it. And basically this is showing you how ray tracing can potentially work. Um, nothing too, too exciting going on here, but uh, you can see the code required to make this stuff work. All of the libraries etc. behind the scenes are available here. So you can see there's the core libraries behind it, the shaders, etc. And as you can see, there is a lot of code required just to do that simple demonstration. Now, if you're interested in getting a little bit more hands-on than simply this hello world example, obviously you can get in here and code yourself, start playing with the, um, the SDK as it exists today. Uh, they've also implemented it in uh, PIX, their uh, uh, performance tuning tool for DirectX 12. Uh, it now has hardware accelerated ray tracing for DirectX in the PIX on Windows, sporting DXR rendering. So you can experiment with this exciting new feature right away. Uh, so basically, it is now available in PIX. Um, I actually, here is PIX. I have it running on my machine. I have absolutely no idea how to go about using it. So um, yeah, I'm not a great example in this particular time. I don't have enough time to learn it to show you. But do be aware that um, they have implemented ray tracing in their PIX debugger. Um, so do check this out. I will link this down below as well. And then also on the topic of support, like I said earlier, this is actually going to be a Microsoft SDK driven thing, but it's also at the uh, vendor level. So at the same time at G um, GDX, or sorry, GDC today, uh, NVIDIA made an announcement that they're going to be implementing uh, real-time ray tracing uh, and calling it NVIDIA RTX, uh, which is built on top of um, 
worked closely with Microsoft to enable full RTX support for applications that use new uh, DirectX rendering API. So what we could see is a whole lot more fidelity in our uh, future games because of this. Now it's very early, obviously. Uh, this is very, very preview tech at this point. Um, there was a video put together by Electronics Arts Seed, uh, Project Pika real-time ray tracing experiment using DX, um, R or the DirectX ray tracing. And so here you can see basically their vision of what they can do with DirectX rendering. I will link this video down below as well, but you got an idea of the fidelity of the world, the end result you'll get. Now the kicker is it doesn't look that much better than what we're used to today, but truth of the matter is um, today's graphics have come to the point of damn near photorealistic anyways. This is just gonna take things, you know, that one step closer. Your your reflections are gonna be a little bit more accurate. Your shadows are gonna be more accurate, etc. But it is gonna be a pig on the hardware. It is really going to only work on the next generation of GPUs. It works on this gen, like I said, but it is using software to make that happen. Um, it'd be an interesting thing what happens with this. Uh, it, it's definitely a cool new development. Uh, I'll be interested to see how uh, DirectX rendering turns out. Uh, it's kind of interesting to see that the old technology, the thing that, you know, where graphics started 20, 30 years ago, is finally possible almost real time. So uh, it's definitely an interesting announcement from Microsoft. It'll be interesting to see how things ultimately turn out. But uh, yeah, that is uh, DirectX 12 ray tracing uh, from Microsoft. Very cool, interesting technology that is probably quite a ways away, but uh, it may be giving us a glimpse of where we're going next. And uh, the future is looking pretty cool. All right, hope you enjoyed that. I will see you all later. Goodbye.